Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of To the Point. Today's topic of discussion is green hydrogen. First of all, let's see why it is in the news. At the World Hydrogen Summit 2025 held in Rotterdam, Secretary of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy highlighted India's strategic vision and achievements in renewable energy and green hydrogen. He emphasized India's goal to become a global leader in green hydrogen production and its broader ambition for energy independence and climate action. Now let's discuss about India's renewable energy progress. India has emerged as one of the fastest growing renewable energy markets globally with an installed capacity exceeding 223 gigawatts. This includes 108 gigawatts from solar power and 51 gigawatts from wind energy. These advancements underpin India's ambition to achieve energy independence by 2047 and reach net zero carbon emissions by 2070, aligning with global climate goals. Now let's talk about National Green Hydrogen Mission. Launched in 2023 with an initial budget allocation of 2.4 billion US dollars, the National Green Hydrogen Mission aims to accelerate green hydrogen production and usage in India. Green hydrogen is produced by splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen using electricity generated from renewable sources. Key objectives include achieving 5 million metric tons of green hydrogen production annually by 2030 preventing approximately 50 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year attracting investments estimated at 100 billion US dollars creating over 600,000 employment opportunities the mission also focuses on fostering demand in sectors such as steel transportation and shipping where pilot projects are already underway Now let's discuss about policy framework and industry support. India has awarded production capacities totaling 8 lakh 62000 tons per annum to 19 companies and allocated 3000 megawatt of electrolyzer manufacturing capacity to 15 firms. The green hydrogen certification scheme has been launched to standardize and encourage clean hydrogen production. a whole of government approach supports the sector with major policy incentives such as exemption of green hydrogen and ammonia plants from environmental clearances by the ministry of environment forest and climate change additionally three major ports kandla paradip and tutikorin are being developed as green hydrogen hubs coordinated by the ministry of ports shipping and waterways now lastly moving on to state level initiatives and challenges 15 Indian states have introduced policies promoting green hydrogen reflecting broad based support for the sector. However, challenges remain in scaling up such as high production costs, the absence of standardized regulatory frameworks and infrastructure limitations. Addressing these issues is critical for realizing India's full potential in the global hydrogen economy. Now is the time for practice question. Consider the following statements about National Green Hydrogen Mission. 1. The mission aims to produce 50 million metric tons of green hydrogen annually by 2030. 2. Green hydrogen and green ammonia plants require mandatory environmental clearance under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. One only. B. Two only. C. Both one and two. D. Neither one nor two. Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe. and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications